Is your boiler pressure gauge dropping on a daily basis? Have you noticed a drop in the performance of your heating system? Or maybe your boiler is showing an error code to do with pressure. This will be due to your boiler losing pressure. Experiencing a drop in pressure can be both puzzling and stressful. Constantly heading over to your boiler, topping up the boiler pressure just to see it go all the way back down the next day. Fear not, in this video I will cover all the reasons as to why this could be and hopefully some fixes that you could try to solve the issue on your own without the cost of an engineer call out. First things first, what is the ideal amount of pressure inside your boiler? Normally you want your boiler pressure to be around 1 and 2 bar. If you find your boiler pressure is above 2 bar, you need to reduce the boiler pressure down using the video up here. This will basically teach you how to reduce your boiler pressure down to a more safe value. The advice given in that video is also really handy to know as if when you top up your boiler pressure you may accidentally top it up too high and have to reduce it later on. On the flip side if your boiler pressure is too low let's figure out why. Head over to your filling loop and open up both taps to allow pressure to build inside the boiler. Once it gets between 1 and 2 bar close the filling loop and make sure it is closed correctly as this can cause issues further down the line. If you can't find your filling loop or you can't see a pipe that looks similar to the one shown in the video it'll be because your boiler has a different type of filling loop compared to mine. With a quick google search you can find out what your filling loop should look like, find it on your boiler and top up the pressure accordingly. Filling loops do change depending on what manufacturer you go for with your boiler. Hopefully your boiler pressure stays the same, if you see a drop straight away you know there is an issue with your system. However if it holds this may have fixed your issue, boiler pressure can reduce over time quite naturally so if this is your first time doing it in a long time it may be all okay. However, if you find yourself doing this every day, there will be a deeper issue. The most frequent cause is a leak. This can either be on the fittings under your boiler, this could be your pipe work, or even your radiators inside your home. What I would advise is to go around your property, have a quick glance under the fittings of your boiler. Do you see any water? Do you see any water dripping onto the floor? If not, your boiler fittings are probably okay. Now let's look at your ceilings. Do you have any signs of damp, any mold, any bubbling on the ceilings, any signs that water is coming from above? If not, your pipework may be fine. Finally, head to your radiators. Look at the valves on either side, any water underneath, any water around there, any water from the bleed pot on the radiator. If not, again, your radiators are probably fine. However, just because you can't see a leak, you can't hear a leak, doesn't mean there isn't one. Leaks could be deep behind walls, could be on the floorboard you can't see or get to, so do not rule out this as a reason for your drop in pressure. Next up, let's bleed your radiators. Not only will this increase the efficiency for when your system is fixed, it can also solve the issue itself. Air pockets build up inside a radiator and when these go around your system they can be released at air vents inside the pump inside your boiler, or if you're in a bungalow you'll have air vents in your loft. When the air is released from the system, this can cause your pressure to drop as there is a reduction in pressure. To remove these air pockets, we're going to bleed the radiators, allowing the air out of the radiator. For this, you will need a bleed key or a flat head screwdriver and some kitchen roll to catch any water when you bleed the radiator. Open up the bleed point on your radiator and immediately you should be able to hear some air released from the radiator. As soon as you see water start to come out, catch it in the kitchen roll and close the bleed point correctly. Make sure these are closed all the way around your property, as if not, this will reduce the pressure when you top it up. Realistically, this is where your efforts will come to an end. You've looked around your property, you've scanned for possible leaks, you've tried to bleed your radiator, and you have tried topping up the pressure at your filling loop. If you're still seeing a drop in pressure, this will be an issue inside your boiler, or as I mentioned before, behind walls where a possible leak could be. For this, sadly, you will need a gas engineer out to your property to inspect the boiler, there could be things wrong with your expansion vessel or PRV, which is your pressure relief valve, which you can't physically go and see or look at if you are a gas engineer. They can test the equipment inside your boiler and can also test for leaks across your property. All of this you should stay way clear of and get a trained professional to carry out the work. If your boiler is rather old, it is most likely going to be these parts inside the boiler that are letting you down. And in this case, the cost of repair could be just as much as replacing it with a brand new boiler. Save yourself any headache with a hassle-free install from iHeat. We can be there the very next day to install your brand new boiler, fill in a simple quote online and receive a fixed price quote for us to install your brand new boiler the very next day. That is all from me. Hopefully this has solved all your issues with your boiler losing pressure. If not, let me know what is going on in the comment section down below and I'll see you in the next one. This has been iHeat.